everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to use Bluebeam for making face masks. As you know, Bluebeam is a software application that allows users to mark off, take off, organize, and collaborate with PDA files. It is very useful for us. So let's start. I'm going to open the PDA file for the example we are going to use. In this case, it's from the TPS course. So I'm going to the navigation bar, open recent, and I'm going to select the one I want. Um, in this case, it's the annotation plan level two of a certain building. Uh, so the first step will be to set the scale. We are going to see that the scale is this one. And we have to go to the tools menu, go to measure and set the scale. So after that, I'm going to go to custom and I will put one piece. Let's pay attention in the units, of course. So precision, I'm going to put a one this precision and I want to apply the scale. Also, you can separate the white scale or also you can custom and calibrate, but we don't have in, in this in this drawing, we don't have measures. So I'm going to use the custom and put the one from the drawing. So apply the scale. And the scale is already done. But also you can go to this navigation bar, go to measurements and do it using this but either way it's okay so let's start making or accessing the areas go to this option measurements and do it by this this one but um the one that you prefer it's okay so let's start making the zones and measuring the areas so um in this case you can do it by two ways you can go to tools markup then you can make the polygons and after that you can measure the areas with other tools but it will be faster if you go directly to measure area and start so in this case i'm going to um, use three zones i'm going to make three zones for uh, this drawing or this plan but remember that you have to pay attention on the density because each zone has to have the same density or must have the same density. But I want to be quick and I will um, use like three sounds and I will not pay attention on density. So I'm going to choose a green color. Line will be the same. Also, you can change the color of the letter or the font. You can change the opacity. Um, you can change the unit. In this case, I want to be the area in square feet. I'm going to put directly. And the color of my um, or my text will be um, black. I'm going to start. So you have to make a point. I will not be very precise, but you can do it carefully. This, I'm going to close this polygon. But as you can see, I want I have to change the opacity because we can see the element from the plant. Going to put a uh, this percentage, this, and uh, as you can see, the area is right here, but it's so small. So I'm going to change the size, and two, like this, and you have the area and your zone. I'm going to do the next one directly. But I want this area in different colors. I'm going to change it to blue. In the same way, I'm going to do the third one. I'm going to change the color again. So, um, you can add text, you can say that this zone needs someone. So you can go to tools, markup, text box, put it right here. 
zone one. First, I'm going to increase the size of the letter. Zone one. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put um, a color here. Yes. And you can copy and paste the next ones and change the number. This. And also, if you want to make this more beautiful, you can go to the area and type here. And hide this one like this. Mark this one, and that's all. And I can do the, uh, the same with this too, but I think it's all. So I hope you enjoyed this video.